Here is how you can build an amplifier for your smartphone for less than $3. Really, it's just the cost of the wood and a little bit of wood glue. Uh, I used cedar for my project, uh, and that made it as cheap as possible. I went and bought one cedar fence slat and uh, used it to make this amplifier, and uh, it works amazingly. Um, the base, pretty simple. It's basically a square, well, a rectangle, uh, six and a half inches wide by five and a quarter inches uh, deep. Upon that base sits a riser, and this is um, actually the piece of wood that the smartphone uh, rests upon in order for the uh, sounds to come out of the small um, smartphone speakers. Uh, it's a half inch tall by half inch wide and um, about two inches long, and I cut a 45 degree bevel on the end of it, really just to make it more aesthetically pleasing, but it's not absolutely necessary. The back is one and a half inches tall by six and a half inches wide. You'll notice that all of the joinery uh, to this piece, it's just all butt joinery with uh, PVA glue and some brad nails to hold it together. It's really not going to be under any significant amounts of stress, and so that should be uh, plenty in order to be able to hold it all together. The sides are a little more complicated. Four and three quarter inches uh, deep by three and a half inches uh, tall at the front and one and a half inches tall in the back. So if you get your length and then you draw the one and a half and then uh, a mark at the three and a half, you'll uh, be able to get that angled cut without, uh, without really any difficulty whatsoever. The top piece is a little more complicated, five and a half inches wide uh, and five and one eighth inches deep. Uh, but you want to cut it at least five and three eighths to maybe even five and a half inches deep so that when you make that 15 degree bevel cut on the uh, front and on the back, um, you'll have enough wood in order to be able to uh, still uh, make the length between uh, the front of the amplifier and the back of the amplifier. Here's a look at the piece uh, from a back angle. The slot that is cut into the uh, top of the amplifier, um, you just need to make that slot big enough to fit your smartphone. You don't want your phone to be loose and wobbly around in there, so I really don't put any dimensions on here. You just need to make that so that your phone fits, not too snugly, but uh, at least snugly enough so that, it, uh, that it's secure. Uh, another look from the back right. Uh, again, just butt joinery. If you want to get really fancy with it and do some uh, finger joints or some tongue and groove, obviously you're going to have to adjust your dimensions, uh, but you could go ahead and do that if you wanted to. I just used, like I said, pretty simple butt joinery. So uh, that's what it will look like. So let's get to the build. So here's our piece of cedar, and as you can see, I've got the lines drawn up for uh, the side pieces. Depending on the width of the piece of cedar, you might be able to uh, just make one cross grain cut in order to be able to get both uh, sides to the amplifier, but uh, uh, no worries, especially if you're using an inexpensive wood. Um, just do what you need to in order to be able to dimension out your pieces. So there we've got our, our two sides with the uh, with the angled cuts made. Remember, that's roughly a 15 degree uh, angle from 90. Uh, but on your bandsaw, just follow your cut lines and you'll be fine. And then you can just kind of plane it smooth. So after we've got our base and our two sides cut and our oversized top, remember, we want to cut that longer than the five and an eighth or longer than whatever dimension you're eventually going to end up with um, so that you can cut that 15 degree bevel uh, off of the bit that's proud um, a little bit later on. We'll, we'll see that in just a few minutes. As you can see, the top is a little bit too wide, actually. If you look in the lower right-hand corner, you can see that the two side pieces, which are on the left side of the base, are there. And then I've got the top line there so that we can look to see if we've got the proper width, and we don't. Uh, we're over by maybe eighth of an inch there about. And so what we need to do is to strike a line there uh, that's why we had it on the end of the uh, workbench, so that we could get our pencil underneath and scribe a line, which is what we have right here. Um, so we're going to take that over to the bandsaw and, uh, and cut off that excess. And after we do that, our top is exactly as wide as it needs to be. As you can see, we've got both sides roughly in their, in their proper location. With the top of the amplifier uh, resting on top of the base uh, in between the two, and as you can see, both uh, both side pieces are flush to the edges of the base. The next thing that we need to do is to remove that uh, 15 degree bevel. 
uh, that is proud of the uh, of the top piece. This is the upper part of the picture that you see here. That's the uh, top to the amplifier and um, the piece that's actually lying on the workbench, actually on the piece of paper on the workbench, that's one of the side pieces to the uh, to the amplifier. So we've got a bit that is slightly proud, and again, that's because of that 15 degree bubble, and you can see that I've shaded it with a pencil there, kind of in the upper part of the, uh, the, the wood piece. Let's zoom in on that. You can get a little bit better look. So that's our bevel that needs to come off in order to match that, uh, that 15 degree angle. So we go over to the table saw and we set it up for 15 degrees and uh, and we just follow the uh, we just follow the top corner of the piece and that should give us exactly what we need, which it did. Now all we have to do is the same thing to the back side, to the top of the amplifier, and um, we'll just about be ready to um, start to put everything together. Okay, we've got all of our angled cuts done. We are ready to begin assembly. So we've got all of our pieces laid out and we are ready to start gluing up. Now, one thing to note, the top to the amplifier, which is the uppermost piece, uh, you can see the, the base with the riser in the middle, the two sides, then there's the back of the amplifier, and then the top to the amplifier is in the very, very back. Do not forget to cut out the slot for your smartphone. Much easier to do it now while the piece is disassembled than if you do the glue up and then have to uh, cut the slot after the fact that would be much more difficult I almost made that mistake once uh, and thankfully I did not so I haven't had to experience trying to cut that slot after the whole piece has been assembled so uh, check the width of your phone and make sure that you get that slot in there um, before you begin your glue up so the back is glued on the left side is now glued on the right side is glued on and we attach the uh, riser and then the top. And if you notice, as you look in there, you can see that that slot has been cut out already. So uh, we are ready to go for a test drive. And that's all there is to it. Good luck. Thanks for watching.